for a win. Here we go, the Tigers. Well, Robbie Freilink just trotted through for a single. Dre Russ is not a happy man after Ali Khan. I'll be disappointed because of the fact that they, when they managed to do a score 189 in the first outing, they would have hoped that that's it's good enough total to defend. But it seems that it was not. Because of the fact of the surface, I can tell you that, because this pitch is probably one of the best I've seen so far. And for a very long time. It's just an excellent surface. On the next side. The captain feels the ball himself. They've got nine bowlers today. That's Charlie, which is crazy, really, when you think of a T20. I mean, you use nine bowlers. How can he finish it in style? The Tigers need two runs in four balls to win. Push to win top scores in DPL. And he's four away from a three-figure mark. He's never scored a hundred in a T20 format. He's got to go for it. Go for the glory shot. Come on. Definitely. Do not dink this into the mid-wicket for a single. Hit it into the stands, Mushi. You deserve it. What are the options, Niall? What are the options? The man at deep mid-wicket is coming inside the circle, Dre Russ. So maybe that's the option. We just just given him an opportunity to play that slot sweep, and if he can manage it, and if he can get the bowler to bowl in that zone, maybe that is the, the area. Then he needs to go and pick up a boundary. Yeah. Third man, and the point fielder inside the circle on the offside. So there's another option if it's wide. Full toss. Help yourself. Get up. Oh, he's held out. Show of Malik in the deep. Mushy, you got what you wanted. You got a full P. Simple catch from Malik. Everybody behind us standing, huh? Every one of them standing, hoping that it would have gone on for the maximum. But what a knock. He'll be hugely disappointed. But mind you, he's done the work with the bat. Don't forget that. His role with the bat was outstanding. Deep in his crease. It was in the zone. Just could not manage to hit it into the gap. He knew the moment he hit it. There was a wry smile on his face. He said, oh, what have I done? Joy Malik pouches it. But what a knock, what an excellent, magnificent Mushfiqur Rahim knock of 96 and just 51 deliveries. Tigers, 188 for five. She goes, healthy thick edge by Robbie Freilich. It's gonna go all the way. Fantastic win for the Kulna Tigers, winning by five wickets. What a run chase. Fabulous effort by James Foster and his men. Finished off by Robbie Freilich, but led all the way until the death by the captain Mushfiqur Rahim. A match winning knock. No question about that. What a win, what a chase. Incredible. Cracker of a match, and why not? Happiness in the camp. They should be absolutely brilliant. Elated to see that happen. He'll be very disappointed. Very, very disappointed indeed. He must have thought at the end of the first innings that yes, they had enough on the board. But Kulna Tigers had different ideas. Disappointment for Andre Russell. They used nine bowlers at Shahi Royals, which is a peculiar thing in a T20 game. Almost too many bowling options. Yeah, if you look at Afif Hussain, he still had one more over to be bowled. He bowled three overs, one for 24. Why didn't he bowl another over? Forget why use so many? But you got to give credit to uh, Mushfiqur Rahim. I thought Mohamed Ahmed bowled well, beautifully. We came back very strongly in the last couple of overs. But what a knock. Jem F. knock. It was a uh, delight to watch Mushfiqur Rahim bat through that innings. Yeah, he deserved a ton there, Mushfiqur Rahim. And he got a full toss, to be fair. He got a perfect ball to get the century. Find the gap or stick it in the stands. Fantastic win for James Foster's men. They look a really strong side. The Kulna Tigers. This is the winning moment. Probably Riley, thick outside edge. But once he gets half a baton, it's going to go all the way. 
Finished well there, Robbie Friding. 14, not out of six balls, and one maximum, one boundary. Smiles all round for the Tigers. Nine fours and four sixes in that innings, in that magnificent innings of 96 of just 51, ensuring that his team go on to chase a big total of 189. That's when San Shantu went back cheaply, so was uh, Ramanola, but there was some really good partnership. First, it was between Rosso and Mushfikur. Good partnerships. Riley Russo, for whom 72, 55. That was excellent. And then, really important stage before a man came in and a lot of pressure off Mushfikur. He played really, really well. That was a good partnership. 61 from 34. And then Robbie Freiling, well, he was only out there about two and a half overs, but they managed to add 30. Balls and it was a pretty comfortable chase in the end, 192 for five to win by five wickets.